Be on the lookout, classic truck fans, because the Scout is almost back. Hi, I'm Gary Gastelou, and this is A Car Report. You may have heard that the Scout truck brand is coming back, courtesy of Volkswagen, who owns the rights to it through its ownership of Navistar, which is a successor company to International Harvester. It's rebooting it as an all-electric brand that's going to be based in the United States at a new factory in South Carolina that's under construction right now. Trucks don't actually go on sale until 2026, but on October 24th, Scout is going to be revealing what they look like. And it's released a couple of teaser images to whet your appetite. They show an SUV and a pickup that clearly share their front end designs, which feature blunt grills and tall hoods inspired by the original Scouts that were built from 1961 to 1980. It's not entirely clear how big they are, although they do appear to be similar in size to the Rivian R1S and R1T. And that's interesting because Volkswagen just cut a $5 billion deal with Rivian to use its software technology, although it's not clear if any of the hardware from the R1T and R1S are gonna find their way into the Scouts which have been in development for a few years already. Aside from the shape of their profiles, there's not much else you can discern from these images, but an earlier teaser that shows the front of a Scout appears to reveal that it has a front bench seat and Alpine windows running along the sides of the roof above the doors. Now along with the Rivians, these will technically be competing against the larger GMC Hummer EV SUV and pickup as well as the upcoming Jeep Recon that's supposed to go on sale next year. What we don't know yet is the price of the Scouts and any of its performance specs, how far it can go, what sort of horsepower it has, that sort of thing. But we're hoping to find out more about that at the reveal on October 24th, which we'll be covering. So head over to AmericanCarsAndRacing.com for the latest Scout and automotive news.